Lisa is with us in Colorado. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Hi. As good as I can be. Good. How can I help? I'm calling because I took out a loan on my four, oh, against my 401k, and I just lost my job, and I'm pondering whether I should pay off the loan or take a hit with the penalty and the tax. Do you have the money to pay off the loan? No. I do not have enough cash to pay off the loan. How would you pay it off? Um, I could use some cash, and I could take out an advance on the line of credit I have. Okay. All right. I probably would do that because if you don't pay it off within 60 days, it's considered an early withdrawal, as you said, and you'll be te- charged a 10% penalty plus your tax rate. So if you're in a 25% tax bracket, that'd be 25 plus 10, 35%. And uh, that's a pretty heavy interest rate. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, that's why we tell people not to borrow on their 401k loans or on their 401ks ever because they find themselves in a situation like you are in. Are you married? No, I'm have, single. Have you landed a new job? No, I have not. Mm. I just lost my job a few weeks ago. Okay, cool. What were you doing? I'm an accountant. Mm-hmm. Okay. And having trouble landing an accounting position? What part of Colorado are you in? Uh, I'm in Denver, and I don't think it'll be difficult to land a job. I'm just um, relocating to Florida to be closer to family. Oh, okay. So I'm just kind of waiting for a good transition period with my son in his school, and then I'll move out to Florida. Okay, which would be like now when he gets out for Christmas, right? Right. Okay, because I don't know how are you living. So. I mean, you you don't it doesn't sound like you have any money. How are you living? Um, well, Colorado has pretty good unemployment, <laughs> and I do have savings. I do have about seven thousand in savings, and I have my mer- emergency fund, my thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of bridging my household budget with my savings and the unemployment, and I have a a renter who rent, rents my basement. So okay. I've been been able to um, not. Not digging any more debt, but yeah. I'm wondering if there's some people though you couldn't get some contract worth work here at the end of the year, right there in Denver until you get ready to leave. I bet you could probably find a couple weeks worth of work. People doing wrap up stuff on year end books. Yeah, I think that's what my thing was going to be to try and find some temporary work until you know while the season's here, people are taking vacations. Yeah, how much I'm is your 401k loan? To do that. It's a, it's only nine thousand dollars. Okay. I would not pay it off. I would not pay it off. Yeah, I would not pay it off today. I I want you to get moved and get reemployed because seven thousand dollars that you have in cash is very precious right now. We need to protect that money. Yeah. And that's where I was concerned. I'm like, if I should should I keep the cash or should I pay off the loan and which would be the best option to do? Well, I do want the loan paid off. Um, but I would not right. use any cash to pay it off. You know, I tell you, if you want to hit that line of credit and pay it off with that line of credit right now and just move it to that, at least that'll keep you from getting hit no matter what. And because I don't want you to get up to the end of the 60 days and, and not have this done. So let's go ahead and get that done with a line of credit. A hundred percent. Don't use any of your cash. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then, and then the you, cash, when you get moved, if you've got any cash, start your debt snowball, which would entail, paying down the line of credit, of course. So we're going to turn around and use the cash, but only after the crisis is behind us. And you're square in the middle of a crisis. You've got very little money, and, you've, and you're making a move from Denver to Florida. Um, and you're going to wait 30 days or so to do that. So, you, you know, you've got to get with this because you've got to get that other job. I think I'd make a trip or two to Florida and start looking for a job. I don't think I'm going to wait till I get there to look. Because uh, I'd love for you to start work like the second week of January in Florida, and your son start his new school. Um, the, I, yeah, let's get let's get really assertive and and proactive on this whole situation. 